YouTube, I take scene here, and uh, we're going to show you the first things you're going to want to do once with your freshly jailbroken iPhone 4. So, first thing, uh, open up Cydia. Uh, you're going to wait, want to uh, wait for this to load, which, like normal, is going to take forever. Sort of spinning, saying loading data. Now, once it's up, I'm just going to cancel that. Okay, and wait for it to load. Now, one of the first things you're going to want to do is, just ignore that for a second, is to go into feature packages. This is a must-have for any iPhone. This makes life so much easier. Uh, yeah. Waiting, waiting. It's taking its time. Now, once it comes into here, you're going to scroll down until you get to SB settings. Now, must have. I could not live without this. So you're going to go install, and then I already have it, so uh, it doesn't need to be done. And once it's, uh, you hit confirm at the top, it'll install, and then you'll get out. Now, what this does is it allows you to add this little power settings to the top bar. You see what I did? I simply my finger slide it across the top. This popped down, and this allows you to uh, turn your 3G on, off, Wi-Fi off, uh, brightness. Really great for power power settings. Processors allows you to even though now we've got multitasking on the iOS 4, but this used to be pretty useful. So we'll get back out of that. Now that that's you can also add it so you can set up your how much RAM you got free and the time date and percentage of Wi Fi and percentage of battery and whatnot. See alright, which is very useful. Now we'll go back into Cydia and wait for it to load again. And ignore that again. Ooh, I'll turn my internet off. One second. Turn that back on. Alright, go back in the city. Loading, loading, loading. Bear with me, guys. Ignore temporarily. Now, I'm going to wait for city to load again. And you're going to go back into fe feature packages, and again wait for that to load. Then then you're going to scroll down again, and you're going to see winter board. Uh, this is for putting themes on and basically customizing the way your iPhone looks. So select, install, and do the same thing again, and when you're done, it'll be added to your springboard. Now, that is also if you want to customize, uh, you know, themes, wallpapers, video backgrounds, whatever. Now, um, the next thing is you're going to want to go to Manage, Sources, and add... Uh, to get all the sources, which allow you to, you know, get all your applications and whatnot, uh, add, oops, sorry, you go edit, add, now, you're going to add apt dot pwncen ter dot com forward slash now you add that source it's going to verify and that is what you add to get all the sources now you're going to wait for that to download and install or update sorry update sources and it's going it's going hmm. 
really takes its time. I'm just going to pause it here guys, it's taking a while. Yep, sorry about that guys, we had a bit of a malfunction. Now once it's installed it will pop up like that in your Enter by User Sources. And you're going to select that and it's going to have all these. But you go out, go to Search and type in A L L S All Sources right there. And you want to look that up. Select it, and you want to hit, want to hit install, and confirm. Alright, once that's done, you will have installed all sources, which gives you the, the widest range of Cydia. Alright, then, alright, so that's basically the few things that you really need to, oh, hang on one second, one more. Go back into manage and you're going to want to add another source, uh, which is uh, Cydia. You're going to edit, add, and type in Cydia. C Y D I A. All these sources will be in the description, by the way. Dot Haculo. H A C K U L O. Dot U S forward slash. Now you add that source and it will say something like copyright infringement or something. Now you'll say add anyway and once that's done you will I've already done it so don't need to. You'll go back into Haculo and you will see uh, AppSync 4.0 if you're running 4.0 that is. This allows you to uh, sync up cracked apps which I'll show you how to get in a sec to your computer and uh, so forth up and down through right then you also want to want to install uh, installers which is right there this basically allows you to get cracked apps and I'm not con condoning it but if you feel the need to download cracked apps that is your option so anyway that is some of my top things you should be doing uh, once the first time you jailbreak your new iPod, iPhone 4. Anyway, uh, iTech scene, out.